stop the FOMO. Do you have a fear of missing out on your amazing collection of movies? Because, well, they're all over the place. They're on the floor, out of order. Your kids lost the disc, or more often than not, you don't have the time. Not anymore. With the Kaleidoscape system, you're gonna rediscover your entire movie collection and enjoy your home theater, even if you only have 30 minutes. We are going to review the Kaleidoscape system, but most importantly, I'm going to focus on its most compelling value proposition. The reason why I'm moving away from my disc player system into Kaleidoscape, and that value proposition is quite simply, I'm enjoying all of my movies a lot more. Kaleidoscape represents that bridge between your massive movie collection and your amazing home theater system. But first, let me introduce today's sponsor, WhoKeys. Yep, you just finished your big old PC Windows build. You have the best of the best, and sadly, you have less than $20 to your name. WhoKeys to the rescue. Use my code SF20 and immediate discount. Within minutes, you can download the Windows 10 Pro key and you're up and running. But that's not all, folks. Who Keys has keys for games too. Steam, Origin, Uplay, you name it, you got it. Check out their sites. There are discounts for all sorts of stuff. And most importantly, you want to be productive? What about Office Suite? Yep, you can download a copy of Office Professional with my code SF20 at checkout and bam. So today we're going to go into how Kaleidoscape helps you manage and enjoy your massive movie collection. It is more than just indexing alphabetically and organizing your movies. That's easy. Many systems do that. It's about discovery. It's about engaging with your entire collection in new ways that you never thought possible. Well, for me at least. And I discovered that in reviewing TVs using Kaleidoscape, more often than not, I ended up enjoying a bunch of movies at the same time. What was originally only gonna be maybe a 30 minute to 45 minute review, right? Time spent looking at certain content. I was in a rabbit hole of watching concerts, music, and other movies I did not intend to. Getting my review done, but also enjoying my collection, spending an extra 30 minutes with my collection. That was something I did not expect, and that is something that is unique to Kaleidoscape. Now, before we jump into the discovery features, right? How you can enjoy your 500,000 movie collection. Let's get into the actual review unit. This is the entry level bundle, okay? So, entry level unit is the player, Strato C, and the Compact Terra 6 terabyte. That's their smallest storage. This is the most affordable entry level, if you will, Kaleidoscape. Six terabytes will hold about 100 4K movies. If you need more, you have 12 terabytes up to 18 terabytes on the Compact Terra. If you need even more, let's say 72 terabytes, it's a larger storage called the Terra. And with that, you can have up to 1200 movies on 72 terabytes, right? So that's 24, 48, 72 on the larger Terra storage. And the Compact is six, 12, or 18, depending on your needs. So a couple of things. With this player, you can download concurrently while you're watching movies. Additionally, if you have a gigabit connection, you can download a movie typically between 10 and 12 minutes, 13 minutes, depending on the length of the movie. And well, most importantly, the quality of the player exceeds the Blu-ray disc, Ultra HD, 4K UHD, right? The data bandwidth on the Strato C and the content, it's a higher data rate or more information, so to speak. So a lot of you are asking me, wait a minute, does that mean you're gonna get visibly better video, better audio, even though it's more information, more data, technically there is more information for your system to play back. So conceivably the audio should be better, for sure it is lossless, at most DTSX. On the video side, it is the highest possible amount of data. They call it the mezzanine version of the movie. Now, whether or not you'll see the difference really depends on your display. Arguably, on a 55, 65 inch, maybe even 75 inch, you may not notice a difference. And when I compared the video quality on my 65 inch TVs, right, my reference Q90A or my A90J Sony OLED, couldn't tell the difference. But when you take that same movie, and you blast it, project it on a 150 inch screen, 
8K laser projector, maybe the higher bit rate makes a difference because now all that information is spread out over a larger screen. At that point, does it offer more resolution or better, more information? Quite possibly. I wasn't able to compare 150 inches using one of the new JVC 8Ks, maybe in the future, but that's something to think about. And similarly, maybe on a 97 inch OLED, let's say the LG G2 that's coming out this year, maybe that makes a difference. Now, at some point, I will look at the 100 inch OLED and we'll do a comparison then, but I can tell you that on a smaller TV, 75 inch, 65 inch, I don't believe the additional bit rate makes a huge difference, but it's there for you if you have the display to showcase those additional data points, right, for video. And as far as the audio, I think lossless audio is lossless audio. It shouldn't make a huge deal. But for the video, that may make a difference, but that remains to be tested. It's just something to think about. Now, enough the tech specs. How much does this cost? Well, let's get the cost out of the way because many of you know Kaleidoscape is expensive and currently this is the entry level system, the Strato C and the Compact Terra 6 terabyte 104K movies. It's 7,995 for this bundle. That's $8,000, that's not cheap. So moving forward, let's talk about this $8,000 what is this compelling use case, this value proposition that I think is so amazing that I'm switching over to Kaleidoscape? One word, discovery. Now, obviously, Kaleidoscape is a great index system, right? Alphabetical order, by pictures, or whatever. But if you're only using Kaleidoscape just to organize your movies in alphabetical order, there are other systems to do that. You're not using Kaleidoscape to its full capability. The full power of Kaleidoscape is the discovery. So let me give you an example of recently what I was doing with Kaleidoscape in my review process that led me down the rabbit hole of rediscovering movies and everything. Now this package came with 40 movies and more already in it for me to explore this discovery feature. And so let's start with that. So this one was packaged with the Trinov bundle, right? 40 movies hand curated by the team at Trinov, selecting the best of music, video, drama, just movies they felt best demonstrates the Trinoff system, which I have. So I wanted to take advantage of that combination. And what I discovered was, well, I practically discovered the entire 40 movie set through Kaleidoscape, but unexpectedly. So let's go through my experience with how this discovery worked, much to my surprise. I started off with listening to concert music, right? So I had the Muse concert, and you know, I like Muse, I was listening to Madness, and I go, you know what? This is great. Let me check out what other songs are on here because there's a section called songs in the Kaleidoscape navigation. So I'm watching Muse, I look at songs, and then I saw, wait, there's some stuff by Hans Zimmer. So I jumped to Hans Zimmer, the concert in Prague, and started listening. And then I thought, wait, didn't Hans Zimmer do Interstellar? So I'm there, I look through, I find Interstellar, I jump to Interstellar, start watching some highlights from Interstellar, then I went to the song selection. I saw Across the Universe, Beatles songs, started jumping into a few Beatles songs. And then for whatever reason, I felt like frozen. Next thing I know, two hours has passed. I was like, what did you do? And it hit me. I just enjoyed an amazing movie collection without intending to. And that's why Kaleidoscape was such a pleasant surprise to me. What Steve Jobs and many people in Silicon Valley have described amazing innovation in and of itself is not enough. It has to delight the user. And that's exactly what Kaleidoscape did for me. It delighted me completely, not with just this navigation system. It allowed me or it connected me to a movie collection, right? So many of the movies on here by Trinoff, I already have, right? The Greatest Showman, Interstellar, John Wick. But rather than me going to Kaleidoscape with some movie I already have in mind, hey, you know what? I feel like John Wick today. If you walk in without any movies in mind and your only intent is, I want to enjoy something today, that's when Kaleidoscape jumps out at you. So if you're the kind of person that walks into your home theater, I know I'm going to watch. Boom. I'm going to watch it. Maybe Kaleidoscape might not be for you, but if you walk into your home theater, you know, I only got 45 minutes. I want to watch something, something fun. And that's all you have in mind. Kaleidoscape is for you. The question though is, is it worth $8,000? 
And this is where we get to the most important discussion, I think. Who will benefit from Cloudscape? Who is it for? And it is two types of people with two things in common. So we'll start with the two things they have in common. First, they have a massive movie collection, right? Disc to digital is something that Cloud Escape does that I think it's amazing. It means you have a massive disc collection, you upload it to the Cloud Escape catalog, and then you can convert your disc to a digital version. So if you have some 1080p movies, right? You can convert those HD quality movies into a 4K version, but you don't have to convert it all at once. Just upload everything. And when those digital movies that you have in your catalog are on sale, at that point, you could buy it. So there are promotions happening all year round, right? Sometimes it's by theme, hey, you know, it's a Star Wars promotion, whatever. An older movie, you know, let's say Crazy Rich Asians, it's on sale, only $4.99, boom, you download it. That $4.99 download digital version is less expensive than any 4K version you're gonna get on disc on Amazon, new or used. So keep that in mind. So their disc to digital is a huge, huge benefit for those who have a massive disc collection, especially if most of your discs are in lower bitrate format and you want to convert to 4K and the 4K is on Kaleidoscape, which is many of the movies are, you're going to get the latest, highest quality version in digital. So your disc has just upgraded to digital, higher resolution, for a lot less than you'd buy on Amazon. So first, you have a large movie collection. Second, and this is key, you have a $10,000 budget. Wait, why 10,000? I thought this cost eight. This does cost eight, but let me tell you why the $10,000 is important. So this individual, right, they have a massive movie collection, they have a $10,000 budget. More importantly, in addition to the $10,000 budget, they have an amazing display already, right? They've already upgraded their display, whether it's the latest and greatest short throw projector or long throw projector, or they've upgraded their TV into an amazing TV, whatever it is, all that's left is their next upgrade, audio, and everything else. So they have $10,000 for an audio upgrade and a player upgrade. You have two types of people now. That $10,000 could be spent 9,000 on the audio system plus a thousand on the player, or eight thousand on the Kaleidoscape, the player, and two thousand on the audio. Now, many of you are thinking, whoa, 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 I will spend nine thousand on the audio system all day long, right? The AVR, the speakers, you know, a very nice audio system, and a thousand dollars on a Panasonic UB9000 or the Revon, whatever. Well, why would I spend eight thousand on a player? and only 2,000 for the bare minimum 5.1 system. And let me tell you who these people are, and you tell me if you fall into one of these camps, or is there a third camp? So let's talk about the $9,000 audio system and a $1,000 player. So this is the guy in the man cave. You're on your own, you're an audiophile, and when you bring your audiophile friends over, they're gonna look at your amazing audio system and you're like, wow. And they're like, wow. And they're listening and they appreciate everything that came with that $9,000 system. And of course, hey, you know, it's a player. A player is a player. And you've heard it from me many times, whether it's the Sony X700 or the Panasonic or the Revon, ultimately the quality that comes out is the same. As long as it plays those discs, same quality, it looks great but you have a $9,000 audio system that everyone can enjoy. However, you notice something? Man cave, just you and your buddies. This is a different group. This group, the family man. You, maybe you have a spouse, significant other, you have kids. They don't care <laughs> that you have a 9,000 audio system. A $9,000 audio system to them is no different than a $2,000 audio system, frankly. But what they will care about is, if you have Cloud Escape set up, when they sit down and they fire it up and they see this selection of movies and the discovery process, that will make a difference to them. They will be able to jump from one movie to the next with you and enjoy your entire movie collection. And when your daughter, your son, your spouse, your significant other brings friends over, that Kaleidoscape system will wow them with the ability to discover 
scripts, but we'll talk about scripts next. And the second feature that I find very useful as a reviewer, but also as a person who enjoys demoing my system for friends and family, is their scripting feature. And this was on the Trinov here. So John Heron at Trinov and his team scripted a bunch of scenes, right? So how scripting works is, let's say you have 100 movies. And in those 100 movies, you want to show off your new subwoofer. You have this amazing triple 18-inch subwoofer that shakes the house. And you want only scenes with the best subwoofer, low-frequency, house-shaking scenes, right? That would be, let's say, Jurassic Park. Let's say John Wick. Let's say Interstellar. And you want to string them up back to back to back. It's a series of scenes that you've scripted. Boom, 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 boom. 30 minutes later, you've watched maybe five movies, all room shaking bass, and your friends are like, whoa, right? Your family members will use Kaleidoscape more than they will appreciate your $9,000 audio system. Well, I know my family at least, right? As much as I'm proud of my 7.2.4 point whatever system, right? all amazing active speakers and I trim off. My wife's like, it sounds great, but let's watch something. And that's when things fall apart. I'll be like, hey, wait, let me look through my disc. With the Kaleidoscape, she just took it over and said, you know what, let me start scrolling. And she went straight to the songs and started jumping from song to song. And I was watching her navigate the songs. I was like, she's actually using my entire home theater system, the movie collection. She was not able to explore that collection before. And she spent more time with the home theater than ever before because of Kaleidoscape. And that is the use case. This is when it makes a difference. As a matter of fact, if you, all you have is a Kaleidoscape plugged into your amazing new TV, your kids will spend more time enjoying your movies on that TV than they would if you had an amazing audio system and a disc player and you have all your movies stacked up <laughs> in alphabetical order. They'll be like, ugh, right? I know I have with my kids, because my question is, what do you feel like watching today? Their response, whatever, dad. But then when you give them Kaleidoscape, I don't have to ask. They're like exploring songs, and that is why. Okay, now, have I convinced you that Kaleidoscape is the system for you, or you're still gonna go with a $9,000 audio system and a $1,000 player? Let me know. Or is there a third use case that I forgot about if you have any questions about Kaleidoscape, let me know in the comments below. I will continue to go through this Kaleidoscape system because even four months with it, I don't think is enough time. Until next time, enjoy your movies and stop the FOMO.